first look at high school football scores and highlights. This is First Down Friday Night with the WZDX Sports Team. First Down Friday Night is sponsored by your local HealthMart Pharmacy. And so it begins a new season of First Down Friday Night. It's a night of so many firsts. It's the first show of the year, the first show of the decade, and it's also the first time that we're seeing live high school action since the spring right around March. I'm Mo Carter, and it feels so great to be on your television screen this evening. For so many teams, this is the first week of the season, but for others, it's week zero. So as always, we call this the kickoff week here on WZDX. We've got a lot of games for you tonight. Several of them are are coming your way by way of my great co-workers. Of course, that's talking about these young ladies right here. That's Charity Chambers and Kayla Carlisle. They'll let you know about the wonderful games they were covering on this evening. Well, tonight we're recording a few firsts in our area. First up on the list will be Whitesburg Christian Academy is hosting their very first varsity game in school history. Plus, I'll show you how Madison County matched up with Crosstown rival Buckhorn. For the third year in a row, Austin and Hartzell are facing off against each other to open up their seasons. Find out who came out on top in tonight's matchup. Mo? All right, thank you so much, ladies. Now we'll check back with you in just a few moments, but let's get started with action right here in town. May Jemison, they've got a new coach this year, but the Jaguar faithful know Harold Wells quite well. He's taking over the reins for Kelvis White, who's now at Bob Jones. Tonight, Coach Well and the Jaguars taking on Hazel Green at good old Milton Frank Stadium. Trojans waiting in no time. First play of the game, Anthony Harbin rolls out with a play action, and guess what? He's got a man. Jerron Smith is wide open and no one will catch him on the 81 yard touchdown. Trojans take the early seven to nothing lead. Talk about taking that momentum very early. Hazel Green did it. Second quarter, Trojans airing it out once again. It's Harbin. All sorts of time he finds Jalen Mosley right across the middle. He does the rest on a 36 yard scoring play. Hazel Green now up 13 to nothing. But look, Hazel Green decides to go for two. So on the swinging gate, they hand it off to that guy again. Jerron Smith getting around the edge. He runs over a man and finds pay dirt right there. 15 to nothing. As you take a look on the sidelines, Coach Wells is not happy with what's going on right now. Trojans continuing to pour it on in the second quarter. This time they line Mosley up in the backfield. They hand him the ball out the eye formation and he finds pay dirt. It was 21 to nothing at that point. Let's check out your final score from Milton Frank Stadium this evening as Hazel Green goes on to win by a final score of 22 to 6. Next week, Hazel Green will host a Lawrence County while May Jemison will travel to Hartsoe. All right, let's take you across town now to Lewis Cruz Stadium. Lee taking on Columbia and the Eagles trying to snap a 42 game losing streak. The Generals come out strong with the running game. Rosters kind of messed up on this one, so we'll just say that the Generals running back picks up a nice game right there. Then their quarterback on the keeper showing the speed goes around the right side and he's going to pick up some solid yardage right here deep into Columbia territory. Then it's the running back once again for the Lee Generals dragging defenders into the end zone for a touchdown. The Generals are up six to nothing and banging up after the upright right there. Um because because they missed the extra point there. So here we go. Columbia, they just couldn't get things going in the first. Jaquan Calhoun will be shown on the next play as I talked about that missed extra point, everyone. Jumping ahead of myself. Hey, remember, it's week zero for me, too. All right, Jaquan Calhoun's pass. It falls incomplete. Things just weren't going great for Columbia. And then Lee finding a way to punch it in once again. They're up 12 to nothing at that point. Let's go to your scoreboard on this one. Last score we got from uh, Lee and Columbia it was 12 to nothing. We do know that Lee did win because on the ETV game of the week, they said they won and also they'll be actually featured on that. So next week, Lee will take on Crosstown Folk Grissom while Columbia will travel down to New Hope. All right, out west in Rogers, the Pirates hosting Richland High School out of Tennessee, and things seem to be going well for the Pirates. How about on the very first play of the game, Brock Killen hands it off to Brock Handback, and Handback is off to the races. He takes it all the way, 68 yards for the score, and on the first play of the ball game, Pirates up seven to nothing. Richland now with the ball, and the, their, the Raiders quarterback scrambles to the outside. He attempts to pass, but guess what? He'll be picked off by Brody Gilly. Pirates 
Let's take over with great field position. Now look, that will lead uh, to this. Killen hands it off to Tyrus Ward. 16 yards later, he finds the end zone. Pirates lead 14 to nothing. But they did not stop right there, everyone. Second quarter, hand back. Gets the hold of the ball once again. And this guy has his second 60 something yard touchdown of the night 21 to nothing at that point. Let's check out your final on this one as Rogers steals this victory. They go on to win by a final of 35 to 19 next week. Rogers will take on Brooks out there in the Shoals area across the Tennessee River in Trinity. How about West Morgan playing host to Good Hope? Now the Raiders defense showing out early Furry first drive. Lucas Hill coming up with a big hit like let me introduce myself to you young man right there. A few plays later the Good Hope defense showing they came to play once again. Watch as they force the fumble. Corton Bagwell will scoop it up and he's brought down inside the 30 yard line and Good Hope is having some good field position on a good Thursday night. And why not try to give it to the guy who just, you know, recovered the fumble. So here we go. Nolan Grant hands it off to Bagwell. He follows his blocks. He's in the end zone. Seven to nothing. We remain in the first quarter now everyone. The Rebels trying to get some momentum going. They're going for it on fourth down, but uh, Dotson Pullman says, oh no, not today West Morgan turns it over on down the Raiders will capitalize off of it as Nolan Grant calls his own number finds pay dirt right here 14 to nothing at that point check out your final score in this one Good Hope goes on to win by a final of 47 to 19 next week West Morgan they'll take on East Lawrence hey everybody you know we love social media so do not forget that we are all on social media the whole sports team at Mo Carter WZDX at Kayla WZDX and of course at charity WZDX hey shoot us a tweet we may read it out loud on air all right, we're just getting started on the debut episode of First Down Friday Night. When we return, we'll check in with the newest high school football program in the city. They had a lot of firsts tonight, and we've got that next. I'm attorney Alexander Chenard. If you've been injured in an accident, call me, Alabama. If you've been involved in a wreck with a commercial vehicle, these cases are complex and involve detailed federal regulations. You need an experienced law firm with the resources to fight and a track record of success in handling these types of cases. Call Wettermark Keith, the name you know and trust. When choosing a pharmacy, it's important that all of your needs are met. In addition to fast and friendly service, your locally owned Health Mart provides the trusted advice and personal attention you're looking for. Every time you walk in our door, we're here to answer your questions and help you find exactly what you need. What are you looking for in a pharmacy? For more information and to find the Health Mart nearest you, visit healthmart.com slash store dash locator. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. The Rooms to Go Labor Day sale is here. You can shop right now. Shop smart and save on beautiful new furniture at your convenience, in-store or online. Now through Labor Day, refresh your living room, bedroom or dining room with great sale prices. 60-month interest-free financing and no minimum purchase to make buying even easier. Shop your way and get free doorway delivery. It's the Rooms to Go Labor Day sale going on now. Saturday at 7 on WZDX. Now, back to the action on First Down Friday Night. 
Welcome back, everyone. Of course, we had a lot of action from across the valley tonight and last night. So let's give you another game from last night. It also was happening at Lewis Cruz Stadium. Of course, that was Coleman coming into town to take on a Grissom. Of course, here we go. Coleman, you, you know they run that option very, very well. But every once in a while, you can fool them by running an option so well and then throwing the ball. Max Doolin hits Isaiah Jones in the end zone. 28-yard touchdown. Extra point was no good. The Bearcats up 6 to nothing. Late in the second quarter is the Bearcats on the move again. Jake Doolin takes the pitch around the left side, runs over a man at the pile line and scores from 13 yards out and that puts Coleman up 13 to nothing. Grissom's offense stalls and Coleman takes advantage once again. Matt's Doolin with the QB sneak for the score. It was 20 to nothing at that point. They would tack on a field goal as well. Let's check out your final score in this one everybody as Coleman comes to the city of Huntsville. Picks up a week zero victory over coach Chip English and the Grissom Tigers by final score of 23 to nothing. Um, next week you've got Lee taking on Grissom while Coleman will take on longtime rival Jasper. All right, everyone, of course, we talked about tonight being a night of many firsts. The first first down Friday night of the year, of the decade. And for our varsity game of the week, we have a team that's playing its first varsity game ever. That's right, the Whitesburg Christian Warriors. They've been playing JV ball for a couple years, but tonight they played as a first varsity game as a full-time team. And of course, we had to put somebody very special down there to check that one out. So we go live now to Gurley, Alabama, where our very own Kayla Carlisle was out there in that part of Madison County. Kayla, it's all on you. Thanks, Mo. Tonight's varsity game of the night goes to a team that wouldn't have even been eligible one year ago. Whitesburg Christian Academy has always been competing in junior varsity. That is, of course, until tonight. Tonight, they took on Galesville for their first varsity game in school history. It's a week of many firsts for the Warriors. First varsity game, first game in a pandemic, and first time seeing senior night on night one. But things seem to stay interesting from the first play of the game. Here's the first kickoff. Galesville with the kick and Whitesburg's Ryan Turner set to return, but it's not off to a very good start. Turner drops the kick, but he would find the ball and he decides, well, he's got to run. First, it was five yards, then 10, then 15. And next thing you know, Whitesburg Christian Academy scores their first varsity touchdown. Fans clearly excited to see such success on the first play of the game, but could they get the extra point though? Brennan Paulus goes for the kick, and it's good. Warriors on top, 7 0. Galesville's turn now. Quarterback hands it off, and the Warriors, David Sedeth, comes in with the defense, stopping Galesville right in their tracks. A little bit later, Galesville with the scramble, number three. He's going to jet the other way. He gets a little bit closer to that end zone. He's going to have to make a big leap for the touchdown. He does. Refs call it good, but there is a flag on the play. Touchdown does not count. Galesville ends up pulling it all together in the second half, taking home the win over Whitesburg Christian. Here's a look at your final score. Warriors head coach Michael Harper still very proud of his guys tonight, though. Over now to Madison County hosting Buckhorn, and things were different. The band still playing, but masks are around, and even some fans were sporting some of their best masks. But over to some third quarter action now. Buckhorn ready to score. QB, he's going to pass it to number three, who happens to be in the right spot and able to score. Buckhorn gets on the board, but only by six. The extra point was missed. Student section still pumped up, though, to be back on the gridiron as well. Students helping hype up the teams. Next up, Madison County with the ball. QB passes it to number 40. He's going to run with it, but he gets taken down. As he comes down, he fumbles the ball. Luckily, Madison County would recover, though. So now we move on to the third down. QB, he's going to go for the screen pass to number 17. He looks like he can go, that is, until Buckhorns, number 66, comes in like a freight train. Defense looking very strong for the Bucks tonight. And now that game actually was a very close one. Went into overtime. Madison County wins it 20 to 19 over Buckhorn. Next week, Madison County will travel to Boaz, while Buckhorn will travel to Bob Jones. Mo.
All right, thank you so much, Kayla. Lots of great action out there in that part of Madison County. Can't wait to see what the rest of the year has to store for all of those teams. All right, we've reached halftime basically here on First Down Friday night, but we've got a lot more coming your way, including a big game out in Hartsu as Austin went down there to take on the Tigers. We've got that one coming up next. Hi, I'm Ryan Cheney here at Cheney's Gold and Silver. Were you aware that there's three factors that dictate the price for your precious metals? Purity, weight, and spot price. Come get an educated and professional opinion here at Cheney's Gold and Silver. You're a precious metals expert. Yeah. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> Everybody smile. We'll be Come to the place you love to get what you love at the price you love. For a limited time, you can enjoy more at breakfast. When you buy one delicious sausage burrito with fluffy scrambled eggs and melty cheese, get a second one for free. We'll be Mr. Shoes, the home of the hookup, is open for business. All we ask is that you wear a face mask, practice social distancing, and wash your hands before entering the store. Mr. Shoes is the only clothing store in Madison County where you can negotiate your own price. That's right, negotiate your own price. If that's not enough, Mr. Shoes is offering 50% off on certain selections. Mr. Shoes on Jordan Lane, the home of the hookup. I'm attorney Alexander Chenard. If you've been injured in an accident, call me, Alabama. The 2020 Valley Golf Tour card is on sale now. For only $99, play 18 holes at 11 of the best courses in the Tennessee Valley. Visit RocketCityNow.com to purchase the 2020 Valley Golf Tour card today. Pinpoint weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. WCDX News at 530 is putting the valley first. Hi, I'm Ryan Cheney here at Cheney's Gold and Silver. Were you aware that there's three factors that dictate the price for your precious metals? Purity, weight, and spot price. Come get an educated and professional opinion here at Cheney's Gold and Silver. You're a precious metals expert. A lot of shows. You're playing with fire. I haven't even lit the match. Something disruptive is happening. Are you guys ready? Yes! Oh my God! This is our time. The future is yours. We're gonna do this together. That is fantastic news. Now, more scores and highlights from across the valley on First Down Friday night. Welcome back, everyone. You have four ways to watch First Down Friday night this year. Of course, you can watch it live at 10 p.m. on WZDX and also live at 10 p.m. on RocketCityNow.com. Then later on in the evening, the full show will be available on the WZDX YouTube. And then on Sundays, you can watch it at 6 p.m. on Whammy 54.2. So once again, lots of opportunities to watch First Down Friday night, and we're here all season, everyone. Of course, we checked in with Kayla Carlisle to see how things were going at her games. Now the third member of our crew is Charity Chambers. She had a great game down there in the land of the Tigers with heart. So here she is right now. It's a new year and a new head coach for the Hartzell Tigers as Brian Moore is in the driver's seat and hoping to get things back on track. Now the start of that road wouldn't be easy though as they are taking on the Austin Black Bears tonight, a team who is returning 14 of their starters. Austin has won the last five out of six meetings between the two teams, including last year when they beat the Tigers 45 to 14. It was looking like it would be a similar outcome tonight. Third quarter, Austin up 17 to zero. Black Bears moving the ball down the field. Quincy Crittenden hits Trey Shack he shakes off a couple of defenders and gains some good yardage there. Fast forward a little bit later. It's fourth down. Austin's going for it, though. Black Bears in wildcat formation. Running back Javon Jackson takes the snap, bulldozes his way to a first down. That would set them up for this. It's been almost a quarter since the Black Bears saw the end zone, but they got back into focus as Crittenden connects with Shackelford in the end zone. I'm going to have to get him to teach me those moves there. Black Bears make the extra point. They go up 24 to 0. Now, Austin never slowed down. Still in the third. Jackson showing off his speed. Look at him go, outrunning almost every defender here before finally being brought down. Austin would capitalize on it. Crittenden scrambling. 
Rolls to his left. He finds Winston Lyle in the end zone. And let's take a look at the final score. Austin goes on to win it over Hartzell, 31 to 7. Next week, Austin will be taking on rival Decatur. Hartzell will be hosting May Jemison. Mo, send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Charity. Hey, let's keep it up in Class 7A. Of course, you had Huntsville playing host to Spain Park last night. Jaguars are up 24 to 7. Bennett and Merritt throwing it deep. Cooper Kelly hauls it in and takes it to the house. Number 10 going for 70 yards right there. Jaguars now 31 to 7, and we're still in the second quarter. But Huntsville would fight back. Trey Crutcher capping off a long drive with his TD run right here that cuts into Spain Park's lead, making it 31 to 14. But Spain Park would pick off Huntsville on their next possession and eventually they would capitalize with this. Ben and Merritt throwing a swing pass to Justin Peagues. He scores from five yards out. Spain Park led by 24 at the break and as we check out your final score, they went on to win big last night by final of 52 to 21. Next week, Huntsville will travel to the Birmingham area to take on Mountain Brook. Across the river to Decatur we go. The Red Raiders playing host to Russellville. Pick things up in the third quarter. Golden Tigers already up 14 to nothing. They're looking to add to it. Corey Warhorse airing it out. Look at this great catch by Byro Gallagher putting the Russellville team inside the 10 yard line. Then Golden Tigers unable to score in the drive. They try to field goal and it's no good. So Russellville still up 14 to nothing. Time winding down in the third quarter. Golden Tigers back at it again. Gabe Amick under center lobs it up to Cole Barnett in the end zone. He makes an amazing catch. So nice. I got to show it to you twice right there. Defender in his face. It doesn't matter. He still comes down with the touchdown right there. Let's check out your final in this one as Russellville blanks Decatur last night by final of 28 to nothing. Next week, Decatur will take on arch rival Austin, while Russellville will take on Deschler. The Armour Tigers traveling over to Tanner last night for their first game of the season. Tanner tries to get something going, but the Rattlers running back is taken down for a loss by Brody Dunn. Very next play, it's senior Chris Allen. He'll pick off this Tanner pass right here, and just like a good DB, you turn into a great offensive weapon, and number three is taking it to the house for six right there. Pick six style, everybody. Six to nothing because they missed the extra point. Very first play of the next series, Tanner coughs up the ball and look at the big man Nathan Ryer going back for the scoop and score so Armour scores two defensive touchdowns in like a three play span let's check out your final score in this one as Armour goes on to win by final of 42 to 18 over Tanner next week Armour's got Elkmont while Tanner will take on Lexington we'll wrap up the show when we return right here on WZDX In these difficult times. You're sick of hearing about it, right? Me too. Warehouse Furniture is your safe place to buy what you want at a price you'll like. And you can buy it right now. There's no waiting. Whenever you come in, we wear masks and stay six feet away. Your local furniture store. Hey, this guy's going to be your hind end best friend. No contact, free delivery, and we won't leave it in your front yard. Warehouse Furniture, just look for the duck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our final morning call. Summer may be coming to a close, but there's still time to make memories in a cabin loaded with connected tech and in-drive entertainment. Enjoy non-stop routes to summer in a new Nissan. And don't miss the last of the 2020 models at the Nissan Bottom Line Sales Event. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models or save up to $72.67 on select models. Choosing a window replacement company is tough. With middlemen involved, you could end up paying too much. But with Champion, there are no middlemen. You get the factory direct price on your new windows. We call that single source accountability. And that's what we mean when we say we design, build, install, and guarantee it. Don't miss out on our best sale of the year. Save 50% off your new windows. One call, one company. Learn more at getchampionwindows.com today. When choosing a pharmacy, it's important that all of your needs are met. In addition to fast and friendly service, 
Your locally owned Health Mart provides the trusted advice and personal attention you're looking for. Every time you walk in our door, we're here to answer your questions and help you find exactly what you need. What are you looking for in a pharmacy? For more information and to find the Health Mart nearest you, visit healthmart.com slash store dash locator. Health Mart, caring for you and about you. Welcome back, everyone. Alberville and A-Rab were scheduled to play each other for the first time in a few years last night. But Mother Nature didn't want either team to be great. So after a constant weather delays, the game was postponed until tonight. And what a game it was out there in Albertville. We'll pick things up in the second quarter. Matthew Turnage takes the hand. I'll watch him just run over defenders. Stiff arm another man hits the sideline and Turnage is gone. 38 yards for the touchdown. That puts A-Rab up six to nothing. And that was a score going into halftime. Let's go to the second half. More from the Knights. They're knocking on the door. Alex Alcala rolls out, finds his man. That's J.B. Bowman for a throw of your touchdown. 13 to nothing a wrap. But here comes Albertville. Ben Allen, their quarterback. He had been off in the first half, but in the second half, he got things going on the passing attack as we continue to see Albertville celebrate. I mean, excuse me, a wrap celebrate right here. So after that, it will be Ben Allen. Here he is, the quarterback, number 11, throwing it up to number one who likes to have fun. That's Trinity Bell, the Tennessee commit right there. He gets the touchdown. That cuts the league down to 30, 13 to 6. Then Shy Jordan would actually get stopped at the one yard line. Fourth down, Albertville is stopped on the fourth. Fourth and goal, A-Rap scores a 13-6 victory. What a game out there in Marshall County. One of the score to tell you about, that's actually the play right there. That happened right there. One of the score to tell you about Lauderdale County, they beat Lexington 20 to nothing last night. All right, everyone, we want to thank you for joining us here on WZDX's First Down Friday night. Don't forget to be safe out, everybody, and wear your mask. Good night.